I was a boy when the monster killed my parents. Of course nobody believed me. It was put down to a bear attack, but I know what I saw. I watched from under the bed as it fed on them. And when it was done, it sniffed me out, lifted the bed off me like it was made of cardboard. It bent down and put its big, ugly face in mine, its breath fetid with the stink of their blood, and stared at me with nightmare eyes that I still see every time I close mine. Then it left. I don't know why it spared me. I don't care. It orphaned me. I'm going to make it wish it had killed me. My entire life prepared me for this. Learning about it, studying the lore. I found others who had seen it, who had been victimized by it. I found those who knew how to track it and how to kill it. They taught me, and when I was ready, I hunted it. I found others of its kind and killed them. It took a silver-tipped sword, forged by monks and tempered with holy water. Beheading worked. So did stabbing through the heart, but the heart was hard to locate, so I generally stuck with beheading. I've taken out five of them since I started hunting, but none were the one I wanted. That one is here before me now. I tracked it to a back alley in Tulsa, of all places. I know it by its eyes. It's looking at me, and I see recognition and regret. Good. I draw my sword. It swipes at me. I dodge, but not fast enough. Its claw grazes my arm. Not deep, but it tears through my coat and draws blood. We dance like that for several minutes. Time slows, and it feels like hours. Then my sword finds its home, slices clean. The head falls, and just like that, my life's work is done. My parents are avenged. I hear a wild howl, and I turn. My monster had a mate, and she charges me. I raise my sword, and she runs onto it. Miraculously, it finds the heart. She falls. I pull out my blade and wipe it on her fur. I hear another wail, this one small and pitiful. It's coming from a dumpster. Inside, I find another one, just a pup, an orphan now, like me. If I spare it, it will only grow up to be a killer, and it'll want vengeance, also like me. I won't make that mistake. I raise my sword, but as I look in its eyes, I see only myself. It trembles as I wrap it in my coat and tuck it under my arm. As I carry it to my car, I wonder first how it will ever forgive me. Then I wonder how on earth I'll feed it. We'll figure it out together. We're family now, bound by our parents' blood.